Welcome, fellow watchers, to Toho, The Disappearing of Gensokyo. So after our Elden Ring adventures, we will now be starting a new game, and one other Toho game after this one, but this is probably one of my favorite Toho games, and a lot of Toho games are generally said to be bullet hells, but I'm the kind of person who prefers to not play the bullet hell ones as much. This one kind of has a unique take on level design as well as how the gameplay system works. But we shall begin. And I used to play this game some time ago. The first time I played it was on easy, then right off the bat I just decided to just go straight for Lunatic. This game is 100%ed. But it's been a while since we played this. And since I haven't played normal or hard mode, uh, we will be going for hard mode. So let us begin. Yet another peaceful day. What? And oh no, the Gats shooting out all sorts of monsters. There is an incident. The mask people. They're not happy. The scythe bearers scaring off the villagers. she's just bored in heaven. Time to get out of this boring place. What's going on out there? Where is everyone? Okay, let's see if I remember how to play this. Uh, clear as day. Right button, I keep with mouse, left to and gamepad. Controls aren't super complicated for this. This can be played on gamepad, but I remember the last time trying it. When you're trying to aim your attacks and stuff with the cursor, well, with gamepad, it's really hard to keep it exactly where you want it to be. This game feels a lot more designed for keyboard and mouse. And there's a lot of lore in this too. Should mention this is made by ACG Studio, which in my opinion makes some really nice games being an indie company. Tenshi Henanawi. Though she is indeed a celestial, oh no. She lacks awareness of what it means to be a celestial. She sometimes descends to the earth just to have fun, and her definition of fun usually means troubles for earthlings. Despite oh, it's causing problems again. Despite her delinquent and playful nature, she is rather nice and kind when the time comes. In her battle, she tends to constrain her own power so it wouldn't overwhelm her opponent. Many say this is a representation of her arrogance, 
but I believe she's just too innocent to realize how people would judge. Alessio's causing problems like always. In Sokyo, I'm finally here. I'll do the... Get out of here, sad creature. What is this perverted creature doing in heaven? You may use the left button to use bullets. You have limited ammunition too, so best not to waste it. Use it to destroy the rocks. That's your shield. A lot like Halo. You lose a shield and you take health damage. Clicking that just made me waste ammo. You may press space to dash. A uh, considerable distance. She has a very shotgun like projectile for her thing, so. Definitely a close range fighter. Stamina bar. Got that existed. Move to the next island, but first, some more lore. Iku Nagai is more or less Tenshi's caretaker to most of us because she ended up being the one who apologized for her antiques. To me, she is like Tenshi's guardian, but she said she was just a messenger working for Dragon Palace. She's having a carefree lifestyle and the power to read atmosphere. Despite her calm demeanor, she can get quite savage when it comes to Tenshi. She's also one of Tenshi's few friends. Because no one wants to befriend the Celestials, and it's for good reason. Eliminate them all. Watch out for those wide bubbles too. Those pack a punch. I got 30. Then I had explosives. Oh look at that, they're hogging the ammunition from me. The heck is this? Alien artifacts? Of course, aliens somehow created EXPs. Which apparently... Watch it there. Pick up the bomb pack. I forgot how to use a middle key. Okay. Every, every time that screen pops up, it makes me waste an ammunition for clicking through it. She doesn't have a lot of range either, so trying to get close to any range target is a bit of a hassle. There is someone you might up ahead meet up. Bird Yokai, how did you get to heaven? I flew here just to meet you. Can't you just talk normally? This is heaven, weak yokai like you shouldn't be here. What? Heaven? Am I dead? Not that heaven. Now can you talk sense? I'm not dead. What a relief. I was hanging out with Cerno. Then suddenly she was gone. I just walked away for a minute. No, 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 no. I'm asking how you ended up here. I don't know. Ugh, I keep forgetting about bird intelligence. I can't find my friend, Cerno. Could you please help me, my fair lady? Ugh, fine. I'll lead the way, for decency's sake. Let me introduce myself. I'm Tenchi, a celestial from Henanawa family. I'm Missy Lorelei. Call me Misty if you like. That's how my friends call me. Let's be friends, Tensi. As long as you don't make me disappointed. Then we unlock a new character. Tab. Kind of wish the key binding was Q because it's right next to the WASD keys. Hey, okay, we got a hidden sack head. Move to the next. What are these? Uh, you can't just seal what you see, mate. Oh. Apparently, Passage was here. Missy Lorelei is a Night Sparrow. I actually did draw a drawing for, for uh, Missy as he's a Kaya. A yokai said to cause night blindness. She sings a disorienting song that disrupts the sense of direction of those who hear it. Although she gets along well with weaker yokai such as fairies, she's not so friendly towards humans. Alone in the forest at night, one would have no hope of escaping her song. However, it seems she's lightened up since she opened a barbecue stand. Still, it's best not to underestimate her. 
Fun fact with Messia too, she also lures people to her Ejikaya as a way to cure night blindness. So basically she scams humans into curing their own blindness that she inflicted on them. It's all a lie. Another just tutorial. You may attack the switch now. Well we already did it, so. Okay, that's a pink one. Heads up. Those are the scary ones to watch out for. I don't got a lot of room to fight here. Get out of there. Use the power of music to defeat our foe. Feel the beat. Can you feel the beat, creature? Let's rock. Have to monster the slain, they will drop blue points. I remember the grinding in this game can be a bit annoying, but luckily there is one boss for that will help out with that later. And since I have the DLC, it's definitely going to be necessary. More sackheads. They never stop invading Gensokyo. What keeps bringing them to Gensokyo anyway? How come they always keep coming back for more? Missy is clearly a better character than Tenshi to an extent. Tenshi is really good once you upgrade her abilities a bit. But Messia does have the advantage for range. Which gives you a lot of flexibility when trying to avoid enemy bullets from coming at you. Move to a... are these all tips? Yeah, that's just all the tutorials you learned. And this is just a survival at this point. Defend yourself until the platform arrives. Easy enough, we got plenty of room. Some boring yellow shooting fairy. Oh, this is on a time limit, so yeah, get rid of them as fast as you can before more spawn in. Uh, who is that? That's Kogasa. One of the DLC characters. Not very accurate, but she does a lot of damage. And that's Koichi. Why not? And turn herself invisible. What she does lack is the ability to run. Uh, which is why we're not going to hold on to her. And that's Suika. I don't know how she works. Switch back. I need range for you. Kelgas is honestly not bad. And she's standing there. What the heck she's doing on that platform? Oh no, it's the rival. Huh? What a filthy imposter. Are you the one who's commanding those baggy things? Wow, two Tenshi's. And look at those wings, she's like a real angel. She has more celestial than our Tenshi. True celestial needs no wings to fly. Draw a sword. E? I know, I know you're the real one, don't cut me. Just shut up already. Now you there, care to explain yourself? I... Yeah, what is this gibberish? Is, is this how you use my pretty face? Die and repent. Careful, she's got a lot of uh, laser beams. Beating her will end the level, don't worry about the bags. But she does, she's a much better Tanshi than us. I don't have the dodge. Right then. Kogasa. Heads up. What's her R2? I assume that's a block. She vaporized. What in the world just happened? I guess I'll ask Iku. Time to go, burb. Are we not going to find Sterno? I thought you had a bad memory. We'll find her later. Okay. I do wish the switch character key was Q, because it means I have to actually take my hand off of one of the keys just to be able to cross it. It's risky. Mission accomplished.
My lady, you're not hurt, are you? Didn't you say I would be fine even if heaven collapsed? Let me make it very clear that I didn't cause any trouble this time. Glad to see my lady is energetic. Lately, lots of weird looking creatures have entered in Tokyo. Attacking people everywhere. You know anything about this? I was just attacked. How are those things able to get into heaven? Aren't you tired of worrying about me? How about you? Is your side safe? It seems nothing's managed to enter the cloud yet. Oh, well that's reassuring. By the way, what are those things? Why do they have sacks on their heads? For now we don't have enough information. Well, I think we have plenty. Now with heaven such a state, shouldn't you be... That facial expression usually means bad news. I'll leave the fairy sweeping duty in heaven to you then. I never said I would agree to it. Oh yeah, I'm looking for a fairy. I need your help. Oh, a request from a lady. How unusual. What kind of fairy? It's an ice fairy. I lost track of her. I picked up this night sparrow on my way here and decided to do her a favor. What are you laughing at? Can't I be nice from time to time? Milady, an unknown aircraft is crash landed into heaven. What shall we do? Huh? -huh? Seems the ice fur is also around that area. You should hurry, Milady. What a coincidence. Are you serious? Are you questioning my ability as a messenger of the Dragon Palace? I think we got separated somewhere around there. Head to the lake below. You'll be able to go anywhere from there. Hurry. For some reason I'm feeling a little angry. And now we're in the actual hub of the place. If I recall time to time characters as you unlock more of them they show up here and you can talk to them for a little bit of dialogue. Hold on Cerno, I'll be there soon. Why do I find it strange? He doesn't even want to talk to Where does she come from? Do you have anything to say? Good day, m'lady. Unwilling to respond. And then this is for some nonsense later. Don't worry about that. You don't have a lot you can really do at the start, but you can get a nice little view of your main hub, which is really pretty, by the way. Running is good for health. Celestius can't get sick to begin with. Besides, aren't you flying? It's so pleasant sitting here without doing anything. Let me loaf around in the heaven. You're a maid. Don't slack off. Wandering around. Aimlessly. Why do we need so many maids? When they can't do anything. They don't they just sit here loafing around just under the cherry blossoms. Look how high up above we are too, where the earth is at. We're like right outside the gravitational pull of the earth. Iku we haven't unlocked the ability to upgrade anything yet. Although it is true that Iku is also the character selector. Don't be upset, lady. When you're going to find the Ice Fairy, I'll peel a peach for you when you return. How old do you think I am? I'm just going to take a scroll. Stroll. It's not like I'm upset or anything. And this becomes your character, Hamox. All of the base game characters are the ones in dark, but all of the DLC ones, which is... Uh, maybe besides a couple, but... Rhyme you can't even get until you beat the game, so don't worry about that. We're also going to have to go through this game twice because there's two different endings. So we'll see how that plays out. But you have your base characters, which is only about... 6, 7, 8. And every single character is really cool because they're all unique in different ways. None of them play the same, and that's pretty entertaining about it. But then any DLC characters are like everything else. So you pretty much just double your characters with DLC. And because I really like this game, why would I not get it? Also, I will say, Lunatic is a 
really a huge pain to go through. And one of my favorite Toho characters, Yumu, was the only reason I was able to get through it. Because her special ability turns her invincible and allows her to basically slice and dice her way through armies at a time. Pretty much survive anything that would have been fatal. So, if you're looking to beat Lunatic, Yumu is your gal. Anyhow, we gotta go save Cerno.